Hello guys and welcome to Melon Sugar Podcast. Oh, it's me, your host, Ked O, and I'm here with my co-host, Delali. And today, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you for tuning in, just listening to our podcast. And I'd like to say a very big shout out to one guy, seriously, I forgot your name I think you texted me on Twitter that you really, really you gave us great reviews on Apple Podcasts and I'd like to thank you. I think you go by the thing Danny or something. And to all our listeners around the world, I'd like to thank you guys so, so, so very much. So, Delali, how has it been being off air for two weeks now? We've not been able to like record anything. How has it you been know- for you? I think even before we even continue, I think we should make this clear. The reason why we've not recorded in two weeks is because of Ked. Ked has been so busy, I, I don't know what he has been doing. <laughs> last, last week, he was out of town. Last week, he said, what did you say? You said you were caught up somewhere or something like that. So please. Like, hmm, on Friday, on Friday, I was out there. And you, you let me explain myself. On Friday, I was at work and oh, I have to meet a friend somewhere. So I thought, okay, even if I've, I'm to do everything by, I'm to meet that person nine o'clock, maybe I'll get home, I'll get back home by, let's say, um, 10. Then maybe by 10, 30, we'll record. Seriously, I went, I took a car from, I think, Tema to... Ablekuma. It's like I think twenty kilometers or so. And when I got there, my friend was not around. I had to wait. He was like, "Oh, I should wait. He's coming. He's coming." And seriously, I backpack with my iPad and and everything. So I was like, "Okay, maybe let me re- maybe like let me call the Lali and see if he will maybe." Like for us to record, but I wasn't so sure of the location because seriously, there were a lot of I think people walking around, and I was like, I was so scared. Maybe someone might just take my might just show up a knife for me and just take everything. <laughs> and I was so and seriously, and I was so my friend had to. I think he was very. So, I think for me getting back home became a problem because I was not too familiar with that area and I remember I told Delali, okay, let's do it tomorrow, then the the next morning Saturday. But on Saturday too, I don't know what happened. I slept throughout the day. Seriously. And I think that was one of the things that I I mean, seriously for me I think I needed the rest. And with everything that went on. I seriously couldn't even record because I, I I think on yesterday I took a mic and I was just maybe refreshing my voice and just to hear them back. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. So to our listeners, I'm very, very sorry. I think the fault is on my part. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, anyway, back to the question. My, you know, I have there hasn't really been a lot going on aside, of course, of course, when on on the social media space a lot has happened, but then in my life, in my life in particular, nothing really, you no, know, nothing exciting, nothing really exciting, just the usual, just the usual. How has yours been? Well. Let me say, quite hectic and all that. And I've not really, really been on social media for like for like that past two weeks. Because when I traveled outside, let's just tell my listen, it's like, and you just go to, you pass through Cape Coast, then to Takrade, then after Takrade, you have to take like a six hour journey to the border, to my father's hometown. And the it's next way very, very crazy that I think MTN 4G was there, but the MTN 4G, seriously. And when I went Friday, there was the light off. Saturday, the light off. 
Sunday to the light was out, so I only got to sleep in a line, let me say, on Monday. And Monday too, after I had charged my phone, the light went off. So I'll just say it wasn't that quite relaxing for me, but I got time to rest and just feel that peace of mind with that serene environment and all that. So I think it was very, very good for me. Well, that, you know, that brings that brings that, that that brings my mind to something. I for some time now, I have been seeing on you know Twitter in particular, people have been complaining about um, power outages in some part of some part of the country and even in Accra. But then, yeah. because I don't because I don't really experience it, so I haven't really taken it serious. Meaning things are getting bad or worse. I think it it, it to be fair, they let us know so people. You know, can you know prepare to watch it rather than you know we just being caught up in a moment and then you know being caught up by a surprise and then all of a sudden we are we are going through all we are going through the cycle all over again. You have yeah. power outages here and there. Because I was very very sure because I where I am, I think that is like Outside of Accra, I was like, oh, whoa. So I had to rush again by our band. So I think in the rural area, the things are really, really expensive. But the type of power bank I was buying, that's why I was just looking for like 50 gallons. That's like uh, eight, seven dollars. But there, I'm getting a little bit of 100 gallons. I'm like, wow, this is just a bonus car or something. So I'm sure. <laughs> I'm more expensive than that. And I'm like, whoa. So, seriously, I, I had, and I had to like spend a whole lot of like money on things that I didn't really do there. So, with the car bank and with the lunch and all that, I had to spend when I was there, I had to do that. I had to do that. It doesn't mean it because it's like, it's just like, this house is like a problem. Like, there was a problem with the line, with the power line. So, yeah. Um, Ked, yeah. Okay, can you check your microphone? Is it okay now? No, it isn't. I think you should adjust it a little. Yes, it's better. It's better. Okay. So I guess now you so, can hear me. Yes, loud and clear. Loud and clear. Nice. Fine, fine, fine. So Delali, I hope you can hear me now. Yes, I can. Okay, okay. So listen, we are sorry for the technical glitches that we are getting today. You should know that it's been two weeks since we recorded, so I'm sure when we resume. The whole lot will be happening. So let's continue with what we're saying. So I had to just spend money on some things at the end, all that. So I think for me, it was just money wasted and all that. And I'm very, very thankful I'm back to I'm back to Accra again. Seriously, with everything going on in Accra, sometimes I really, really. Uh, I'm really shocked. You can see that fast in our car, we stay by plan. For yeah. for those in the rural areas, I don't know how they stay. I don't know if they stay by the infraction equation or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> because because seriously, now everything is just I mean for me, I like to make the hope and pray that things will be okay, but seriously. No, no. I, I feel I well I, I personally I feel one of the with, with the people with the people who live in the rural areas. Most of the times, it is most likely you are living in your own house. It's either yours, or, it's either yours or a family member's house. But then in Accra, you know, come on, Accra is Accra is mostly made up of people who are from outside Accra. Yeah. These are people who have come to you know, you know, make a living for themselves. You no know, hustle. 
So whilst here, you know, you, know you are not living in your father's house or in your parents' house or you're not living in a family house. You have either rented, you've rented, you have to buy food, you have to pay bills and all that. So you have to live by plan. You have no other choice. But then, you know, the people in the rural areas, most of them are living in their own homes. And some are either living, especially the young ones, are living with their parents and all that. So they, they don't really get to spend so much or they don't really yeah. have a lot of responsibilities on them. You get as compared to those of us who are here. So yeah, yeah. I feel I feel yeah, that's actually one of the reasons. But aside that, you know. Hmm. Yeah, true. And and you get to hear a lot of stories. Yeah. I, I, and I think a whole lot. And I think for me, one thing I I find so fascinating was the aspect life, because you could just see with the younger ones that nah. Seriously, you could just feel like. The tension, like yeah. 15, 14, yeah, they, they are having sex. And Very even, and, yeah, and for me, I won't be say, uh, uh, let me say, I'll be hypocrite and say, oh, it doesn't happen in Accra or in the cities. But for that, for that place, you'll be like, whoa, nah, it's too early. Then you just see someone with, his, a young girl with his child, her child. And I'm yeah. like, whoa. What the hell? But you just have to just forget and just move on. Very true. Right. So to our listeners listening, <laughs> I think the show today's episode is not titled anything. So it will just be maybe I'll just I'll talk about mostly happening in our cry and all that. And I hope every one of you listening now here will just feel so the vibe you- and just enjoy. You know, um, some, something happened. I think last was did it happen last week or last week? Um, at the at the Oscars, the the Chris Rock and then the yeah. the Will Smith issue. I listen honestly before God, man. I have been waiting so long to. Stop. No, to speak about it, <laughs> I. Let, let's see well you know honestly even before 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 the you know before the, the before the whole thing happened you know a lot of people didn't even know something what a lot of people didn't know the oscars you know was happening the night yeah, before yeah true yeah i think a lot of a lot of us got to know by virtue of what happened you know at, that's the the whole exactly and you know for me i have i have been really pissed with a lot with a lot of the takes and you know the opinions i have read on on twitter yes i believe that everyone everyone is entitled to their opinion however i most of most of most of the things i have read on twitter are just uh, excuse me say bs they are just uh, they don't make sense. They don't make sense. At least to mm-hmm. me, because most of most of the narratives I've I've heard, I've I've heard and read so far, are people saying, "Well, um, he was protecting a black woman, or he's um, he stood up for a black woman." I'm like, "Yo, listen, listen, he, Jesus Christ, kid." Yeah, I'm I'm sure about I'm sure about that. And, oh, and, don't. And, worry. And yeah. I, I feel, I feel, I feel. Listen, I feel, yes, indeed, black women deserve to be protected. However, this particular one does not deserve protection. That's true. You know, you look at, you look at the things, and listen, the truth of the matter is, what happened on stage, or what you know, he slapping Chris Rock wasn't because of what he said. It wasn't because of the joke. It's, it's just. I feel, I feel, things had, you know, a lot of things had happened, and then he, he had just crossed, you know, the boiling point. He needed someone to, you know, you know, lash out his anger on. Yeah. And unfortunately, Chris Rock just happened to be the, you know, to, to be the person who was at the receiving end, and it's quite sad. It's really sad. I see. I, I, I just pray, I, I pray he finds peace. But personally, if you ask me, I feel, I feel he needs to leave the marriage. Cause, let me tell you. Looking at how things have gotten and where they are now, he would just be, you know, harming himself if he stays in it. Cause I, it's but just. Me, I'm not speaking. 
I'm not sure because if you are to follow whatever happened with her wife and August that was seen now, you can see that they've been in an open relationship for a quite a while now. And one of the things that I think he said in, or when that man he put with whatever his wife that so for me even if Chris Walk even if Chris Walk is even telling a joke or anything, you don't have to just vent your anger on you because you said exactly. you are cool with everything so exactly so if, if your wife is even having a, 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 a let me say a muchi muchi with a, a, a young guy you should be because because for me for me i think that the wife's part for me the wife's side is what has been brought exactly uh, you don't exactly. and the uh, will smith to has done behind her wife's back but then so, you know what the, 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 I'm, I'm sorry to cut you, but I know the, the, the difference yeah. is we don't know who Will Smith has gotten involved with. Yeah. And, and, and that alone tells you the kind of, you know, the level of respect he has for her. However, we know, yeah. we know, we know Jada was involved with, I guess I'll see now, who is, who is almost half her age? If, if not, sure. you, know, you see the thing, that's a disrespect, you know, and you, you know, Listen, Will Smith isn't just some ordinary person walking somewhere. This is Will Smith. You understand? Mm-hmm. So you and, and and you being his wife, you know, to 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 get yourself involved with someone younger than him, someone who has not really accomplished as much as he has. You understand? That's the whole, that's the whole thing. And the fact that she couldn't even hide it is what I feel is you know it's just not right, honestly. It doesn't show respect. Mm-hmm. But if, even if he has gotten involved with someone else, we don't know. It's not in the public domain. People don't know. You understand? Mm-hmm. That yeah. is showing us some, you know, some sort of respect. Why can't you, you know, give him the same respect and, you know, keep certain things private? But then for you to bring him in, you know, on your show, a show that, you know, that has been streamed by a lot of people and talk about your sexual mm-hmm. escapades with young people, it's, mm-hmm. come on. Just mm. Mm. Yeah. And for me that family there is fucked up because I'm telling if you are, if, and even if you put this one is even small if you have to go to the cat side that would be just <laughs> I, listen <laughs> it's it's <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it, I, 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 personally, I feel it also tells us a lot about where we are now as a society. Yeah. You, you know, I feel, mm. listen, I, I mean, I'm not against wokeness, but then I feel people are getting too woke. <laughs> and and, and it's, it, is, it is, you know, it is destroying the foundation. It is destroying the, you know, the society as a whole. Because let me tell you, in, in as much as you would want to, you know, justify certain things or say, well, it's my life, it's my choice, I, I can do whatever I want to do. You also have to understand your decisions or your, your actions, uh, you know, indirectly affects the, the society as a whole. You understand? Yeah. Now, now, people somewhere, some, someone somewhere will see this and say, okay, well, then, then I, I feel it is okay to be in an open marriage. Forget yeah. that. It's come, come a lot of, you know, it's come to a lot of issues. Uh, you know, each because let's be honest, who would want their partner to be involved with someone else? No, for me. No, what? Well, let me tell you, no matter how I, I don't care you are, let's see, you would have issues with it. Yeah. Because you know, should come on. Then maybe you just don't love the person. But then if you really do, you will be jealous. There will be some level of jealousy. And let me that's what I said. People, I think, I think, I think we are overdoing things. We, oh yeah, we are doing a lot of things, and it's it's really sad. sad. And and for me, for me, one thing that I think um is not really what I wanted out of it, everything that I think the lady is now I feeling the pain so much because if you had to get back to when it first happened, she was not feeling it as much as. Uh, Will Smith was feeling it because yeah, but now, but now, um, she's rather more feeling it because if you had to even see from the clip of when uh, Chris, of when Chris Rock was just um having that joke about it, you, the camera flipped to her. She was like, yeah. "Let me see. Uh, Wait, I'm now myself." <laughs> 
tears. It will happen like that. Yeah, and a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. For me, I should just leave the marriage, or if you can't see, they should just fall. Maybe just separate or maybe live in a in a separate houses. For me, I think they are living it. For me, I think they don't yeah. live in in the same think, room. They don't yeah. live in the same bed. Yeah. Yes, yes, but then they live in the same house. They yeah, live the, they live in the same house. And let's see. I mean, I feel, I feel, I feel bad for you, Smith. I really do. I feel, I feel he's not in a good place now. I feel he's not in, a, and I feel. Uh, come on, I wish him, I wish him well. However, uh, you just uh, listen. It, it has already happened. He needs to, you know, just move on. You know, move on and uh, you know, look for happiness elsewhere. Yeah, you should just maybe take a break and maybe have fun and just relieve the stress. Like how I have relieved my stress and just get back and. <laughs> Give us more feels and maybe yeah. love and yeah, because now hmm, even the I think for me even now the ladies are I just cheat on your wife please they won't and mm. even that he, he seriously he, he he's just something that even I think Jada will just be like mesmerizing like whoa he's my thing so, it's 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 sad it's sad hmm. it's sad so our uh, listeners you can contribute on this topic in the yeah. below on Spotify and anything let us know what your opinion is so on our next topic about whiskey let's okay so let's bring it back to Africa so our other <laughs> Grammys the Grammys happened last <laughs> last night yeah. and Up for Confection was the album global album of the year so we had Angelique Kijo Benna Boy with it Rocky Downey our own Rocky Downey from Ghana and Whiskey FC's fans are pissed. I don't know why they are pissed, but they said they don't get why Angelique Kijo. Oh, please, please. You know, she is a part time Grammy win. You guys I, just sit down somewhere and let us be. Why? I, huh. I, let's, I, I, I find it I find it quite interesting. And then, you know, it goes back to the fact that, you know, the, the society has changed, a lot of things have changed. And, and yeah. people, people, pe- people, people are no longer um, how they used to. You understand? Yeah. If, one of the one of the arguments people kept making, well, what, at least what what, I, what what I was reading from on Twitter was that oh, who listens to Angela Angela uh, Angelina Kijo's music? What mm. what song? They don't... Like, and I'm like, yo, mm. you people. <laughs> See, I, yes, I understand. You are ignorant of certain things, but then you don't, you know, you, you don't, you don't, you don't live boldly in ignorance. You understand? You yeah. don't live in and then come and spew rubbish on social media because you, you have because you don't know. If you don't know, you just keep quiet, and you know at least you don't research or allow yourself to be educated. But I, I, I think it's mm. disgusting that they even went, you know, they 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 went they, they went to the extent of going to her and going to her comment section to you know to insult and what listen come on i i don't know i don't know what i don't know where we have gotten to as a society i uh, really because <laughs> these these things are just uncalled for every person every individual that was nominated deserved their award yeah i, I think that's what they are not getting the fact that they were uh, even, in, meant they deserved, they deserved it. Yes. You know, for the fact that your favorite didn't win does not give you the right to go under the winner's comment section and be insulting and be screaming, you know, total rubbish. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. But for the fans, they didn't even read the description of their award. They the award was the part of 
the award was stating it doesn't matter the chart position or exactly. the record for them the academy they determine who to exactly. give the award to irrespective exactly. of what of even if you just if, of even if you top the billboards or whatever for me exactly. i'm a whiskey fan but what but for me what the others did was very very wrong and i think one of one, one guy was just insulting the woman that i think he will not insult his man and you that know. made me so pissed that i was about to like maybe like quote the tweet and just stay in my mind and i was like oh no le- no no let me just leave this guy alone because i think most and um, most people on social media don't like to read. they don't read no 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 of course of course people don't read on social media. listen people just don't read on social media sometimes you know you know especially on twitter when 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 the when whatever whatever you are trying to tweet is so on the later you know like let's say so his his song Peku the Traveler topped Nigeria up Apple uh, top 100 and seriously I'm very very happy for him because yesterday morning I think it was at number five so in the afternoon then it went to number one and it stayed number one and he's the first Ghanaian so and for a Ghanaian song to top the chart in that thing Apple 100 like Nigeria seriously hey hmm. and, and- you know, if you have seen the songs beneath it or the, the songs under it, the so- yeah, you know, fitness the songs and what, what again? <laughs> uh, or or this song? Oh, I forgot this name. Uh, we remus uh, calm down. Oh. What again? Oh, and there's uh, as a case, uh, as a case, oh, as a, whatever as a case. Okay, okay. Yeah, these are huge songs. Hmm. Making making numbers. So for, for 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 his song to be to be to be on top of all these ones should tell you, you know, should tell the you know, the, the, the magnitude of the song, the, 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 how how good it is, you know. Uh, Ghana, eh? that's what you know. That's what they do. They they will mm. drag you down, and after, and after that they will, they will, they will accuse you of not living up to your potentials or living up to expectations. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. But I think all is good, and I think I for, for me I want I want him to just believe in the moment, just enjoy. No artist in Ghana has done it, so shame yeah. to the haters. Shame to the haters. Shame to the haters. Hate. They should they, they 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 should cry. They should really really cry. So. know it's it's long it has to break into yeah. session yeah it's it it, 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 it it becomes a trade people someone will just read the first one mm. will not read the entire trade and mm. so they will start to see they will insult you <laughs> and then you wonder and you're like yo did you read everything because you <laughs> have read honestly because if you had read everything you would have you understood and realized and realize that, uh, that there was no cause for you to, you know, to attack the person. But then people just don't read. People don't read. Hmm. Guys, you don't go ideas and it's stupid that's ideas. That's Seriously, that, uh, for me. Hmm. <laughs> if I <laughs> one, I don't do it. But then if I catch you on the one, I will do the crap. That's oh, it. nah, nah. Don't do that. <laughs> Honestly, I feel I feel we have given him too. We've given too much um, listening. Yes, if I if I if I if I may say, or we've given too much. Now now it it has become more of a personal attack. Yeah, true. He he you know he he targets you and then he just it's like he, he he wants to bring you know, he wants to bring you down. And yo, listen, I don't know I don't know the kind of. The kind of journalism or whatever, I, I don't know what he's trying mm-hmm. to do. It, it's now really becoming annoying. It, and 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 listen, you better take care because he's got a, listen, listen, he's got a lot of people's nerves. And yeah, when, 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 when when people get have enough, 
you know, the, 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 I don't, I don't. I, I don't want to even imagine what people will do to me they get hooked up with. But seriously, but for now, if you are to watch TV, there are a lot of, let me say, Gen Z journalism. Should, they are just uh, doing uh, their own uh, thing. I mean, like this thing, for like this station, I don't want to mention their name, but I don't like how they report their news. Oh. I will just flip it. And I'll just go back and like, wow, this station did not did not start like this. But now, I think uh, I don't know who who does their new news. Seriously, it's so like I can just watch their their news at work, and I'll be like, what trash is this? But so for me, of course, of course. So I think that's course. how it will go from now on, because people are are just being. But like, uh, let me say, they are just showing their fakeness as being their realness. So that's how it will be. I, I am trying to remember a, blo- a blogger's name. I've forgotten his name. He's, 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 I, I think I don't know if he's still blogs, but then I've forgotten his name. Vincent, some something Vincent. Yeah, Vincent. Oh. I think I I I know his. His name sounds familiar. Yeah, it sounds something recent. And you know what Bonga Idea is doing now is what he used to do. But then he his was in a polished way. He also he, he, yeah. you know, he also used to do character assassination. He targets one person and see he see he, he will drag you, he will dress you. Chris recent. Chris recent. Th- that's what Bobo Idea is doing. Ha- just, just, just that he, you know, he, he, he was doing it in a more reasonable way. So, but then with, with Bobo Ideas, what when he, you know, he, he, I don't, I, it looks as if it looks as if he wants to bring the, the fellow down. And listen, it's, it's bad. You look at what he said about um, um, Black Sheriff's new song. And, oh, and like, hmm. and, and, no, this guy, you know, and, and, and again, you know, after he said it. This man, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Oh, he he's 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 a he's a regular on hits FM. Uh, it's a famous Mr. Man. Logic. Mr. Logic. What Mr. Logic? Mr. Logic. Well, I I don't blame them. You know, if you don't if you don't listen to good music or you don't really know much about music, uh, it's understandable. You of course, you 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 end up making certain comments. And yeah. you know, I like I like what Black Sheriff said when when he met him on the when he met, when he met Matt Ruti on the, yeah. on the what the what was the show's name Crapo something what, show what, United Showbiz United Showbiz and he told him listen music is an art you can't you know you can't take a, a work piece either a sculpture or something then you take you take out the nose and then you ask you know you, you, you take out the nose or the mouth and then you try to. You, you, you take you, you send it to the um the the the, 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 the artists that they should they should explain or you know break the mm-hmm. art down the the, the the notes and then the mouth they all form part of the the, the, the entire art uh, you know it's, yeah it's, you know chair, I, listen I, I i don't even blame them that's what cool happens when you cool down <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's annoying, you know. it, it's annoying because I feel you know artists put in a lot of work. Art, art is not a joke, you know. You know, if you know people yeah. who are into art and sculpturing, listen, it's not a joke. It's it's see, it's it's time consuming. And, really, and, and, it's... and you know, I keep telling people that for for someone to sit down to compose a, to compose a song, to write a song or a rap to 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 to, make, to to paint an art you know to sculpt something and then you will sit somewhere and try to punch holes into what they have done it, listen it doesn't work like that and it time becomes very annoying very annoying because at me yeah. listen if, if if i listen to a, a song and I, and the song isn't nice or isn't a well a well written song i would know and everyone yeah, else would. True. but then yeah. if someone writes a song and everyone anyone who listens to the song realizes that this song is a good one it's a well written well composed song and then one person sitting somewhere says hmm. 
and then yeah, this song isn't isn't nice or isn't isn't a well and and then he, you know that his comments was that it was coming out of a place of um a place of words um what was the word he used arrogance like oh is it that is it that you don't understand music or what because I remember some time back people were complaining that Famia Famia is always making um, sad uh, songs for sad people sad songs let's <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, see it's, it's hard though. it's really it's hard it's, it's hard, mm-hmm. it's hard. Ghana, Nigeria, we qualified the World Cup, and Ghana. I think I was very, very happy because the first leg I was in my hometown, and I watched it, and I was like, "No, I'm not sure we were going to qualify. We we're not going to qualify." But after watching the first leg, I was like, "No, we have a team. We have a team." And I think the boys did so good when they went to Abuja, and with all that lighthouse. The, their power blackouts were able to make sure we just we just kill the eagle and roast it, make it chishinga, a KFC and all that. Seriously, <laughs> I was just laughing at so most of my Nigerian friends. They were just making a lot of noises. They, they could just send you a voice note. Hey, you guys, you do have this Oshime and all that. So. For them, they are going to make sure they'll just get stars in us and all that. And I'm like, okay, let's see. And God be so good. That day, I was in a car coming, and you could see the excitement in the bars. People were just overjoyed that we just we qualified. And I think it's really, really. I I, I would just like to say maybe the coach did a fantastic job. Maybe for me, I'm not a sports person. Coach did a fantastic job, and I think the players, the players, the players did so well. So they should just maintain whatever they have and just go to Qatar. No, we need no, the cup. No, 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 we can't, we can't maintain this squad. Listen, if we why it's not good, good. <laughs> it's not good. If we, if, if we go to the squad, see, we won't even qualify out of the group stage. Why? Then, because. <laughs> Oh, there are lots of there are lots of positions that yes we did well. I feel listen if if you look at the the match in in in, in all technicalities you realize that we really didn't really we didn't really play well. However, yeah. the, the the players really wanted to play for they really wanted us to qualify, and yeah. that's what. I, us. But then aside that, we really did come on. I feel I think you know it's all it was all vibes and inshallah. It was yeah I, 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 and favor. Favor and favor, honestly. Because if you look at you look at the saves I'll go I'll go give up made and all that. If if not for the message of the Lord, they would have spared us. Mm-hmm. We can't go to the world. Oh, yeah. We need we need we need we need Better players. Uh, listen, uh, not to say the ones that played are not really good, but then you know there are levels to these things, and that's yeah. why, you know, and, and that's why we have Messi, we have Ronaldo, we have Neymar, we have Mbappe, and all that. There are levels to it, and I feel we, there are players out there who who play better than some of the people, some of the players we had. I feel if they can get them, I feel we should. We should, we should make the efforts to you know bring them in, so that at least we can we can we can strengthen the squad for for the World Cup. Because hey, World well, Cup, you know, and yet, I, you have, I don't know if you've seen our group. You look at the, the countries. Yeah, in but, uh, South Korea and Uruguay. So these countries have players. <laughs> they have teams. Mm. Yeah. You know, people, People think people think um, South Korea they, they are they are probably going to be the easiest amount um, and I mean the teams we've been paired with. But I tell you, even they even they have squad, they have they have a very good team. And listen, yeah. I, I look at the teams we played with and then the ball we played, nah, I don't think it's a work. I don't think it'll it will help us in any way if we go to the World Cup again. Yes, I understand, yes, they have toyed and all that, but listen, of course, <laughs> that's the whole thing. 
obi, obi, you know someone has to you know lay the foundation and then later someone comes to build upon it sometimes someone uh, someone then starts up a company at uh, you know somewhere mid midway they realize you know what they don't have um, the requisite um, um, knowledge or they don't have they don't have what to take they don't have the resources you know to take it to the next level so they you know they they, they pass it on to someone they either sell it yeah. they then you know the enforcement or sell you know sell portions of it just to strengthen it just to at least be able to carry it to the next level and that's yes people people have to pay. people um, they, they appreciate the fact that they they really gave gave it their, they gave their all but then also we also want a strong you know, strong squad we want we also want to win you know a trophy and if we really want to win a trophy then we have to go with a better better and a stronger squad and that's what we have to do Mm-hmm. Mr. Sportsman from from oh. Professor Mr. Sportsman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, very <laughs> Oh, so I think. Maybe let's end this right because I think maybe. For now, we'll just be having on Fridays, Freaky Friday. Then midweek, we'll be having like the talk, the, like the normal talk. We'll just be yeah, saying yeah. Yeah, unfiltered, yeah. And now yeah. I'm back and I'm better. So you guys should expect more from me, your host, and the Lali, our co-host. Soon, soon, I think you see his name on. When you click on it on the podcast, you see Ken, 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 So I like to say a very big thank you to every one of you and support us, support us. You can support just check out the description. <laughs> you can just check out the description. You see the PayPal link there. Just support. And just see the Aka support there. Just support anything. And we've just launched the basic plan on Aka. So with that plan, you don't have to wait for any advertisement or play anything. You can just listen to it without um, no background ads playing and everything. And you get to experience, you get to have the first, like, you get to have the first episode before you have it. And I think it's just $8 or something. So you can just subscribe to that basic plan and everywhere listen now i'm everywhere we are everywhere melon sugar is everywhere and the review the review are great so the lady take us home close us <laughs> well so well now kid is back in town so i i, I believe we'll be we'll be very consistent and uh, we promise you always bring you great content, great, great content. Um, we apologize again for you know not coming through the Freaky Friday uh, for the past yeah. two weeks, I think. But yeah, the, yeah, it's on, it's on, it's going to be, yeah, it's on, it's going to be crispy, uh, finger looking good, everything, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. And then also please, you can really share, you know, share, share, you know, share to your friends, groups, you know, put someone on, you know. And so, yeah. That that'll just be that that, that that that's just it. We'll catch you on Friday, right? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> lady. So. <laughs> See you guys on Friday. Right. Take a little time to enjoy Melon Sugar Podcast. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out.